Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to see how to work with DHT11. This is a humidity and temperature sensor. So let's get started. Before we start, if you want you can get this sensor from Highlight Go. Here right now we are in Amazon and we can buy from here this sensor. All the links will be in the video description. Also, you can get a chip Arduino Uno board. Okay, so let's continue. So this is the connection we are going to use. We can see how we are going to connect our sensor with the Arduino Uno board. Of course, we can use another Arduino board. So this sensor is not just temperature sensor. Also, we can sense the humidity. This is a digital sensor and low cost. We can tell that is one of the cheapest sensors in the market. We can measure the temperature from zero degrees until 50 degrees. And we can measure the humidity from 20% to 90%. Okay, so of course we have here minus, sorry, minus pin, uh, plus pin, and the data or out. Okay, so we can connect a power supply from 3.5 volts to 5 volts, 5.5 volts. In this case, we are going to connect with the power supply from our Arduino. So 5 volts to the plus symbol and GND for the minus symbol. The output, the pin out or the data pin, we can choose any digital print from our Arduino. Any digital pin. As we said, this is a digital sensor. So we have to connect with digital pin from our Arduino. And in this case, we are going to use the pin number eight. Okay. So now let's see the Arduino sketch for testing this sensor. Okay, so this is the sketch that we are going to use to test this sensor. So in the first line, we have the library. The library name is dht.h. I have this library on my desktop in this chapter. This is the library. It is a WinRAR file. So what we are going to do first is add this library to our Arduino program. So let's go back to our Arduino program. And to add this library or any other library, just click here in the sketch menu. Option include the library. Add zip library. Just click. And now we have to find this library. In this case, this is on my desktop, chapter DHT11. And this is the library. All the files will be in the video description. Just click and open, and we will add this library. In this case, I will cancel because I already did. OK. So this is an important step. In the second line, we have DHT space DHT. This will let to use all the library functions that we have. So this is also so much necessary. In the next line, we have the pin number. The pin number that we define is the pin 8. This pin 8 will receive the data of our sensor. So we can use any digital pin. In this case, we use the number 8. If you want to change, you can use the number 10, the number 6, etc. But don't forget to change also the number here in the Arduino sketch. Okay, so also, we have our setup. 
we have a serial begin 9600. This is necessary to see our temperature and humidity on the monitor serial. Over here in the boat loop, first let's write bht dot read eleven, and what we have here, yes, the name of our pin. In this case, the pin A. We define this value lines ago over here. So if we want to change, also let change here. Okay. So what is this? This is the data of our sensor. Here, Arduino read the data that our sensor register. So we have to consider that this data contains two values. One of them, temperature, and the second, humidity. So in the next lines, we are going to see how we can separate both of them. So first, let's start with temperature. Of course, we are going to do all of them because of our library. The library helps so much. So to see this value on the monitor serial, let's write serial.print. And in this case, we are going to just put a tag temperature. Next, serial.print and aha, dht.temperature. This is the how we have to. This is the way how we have to call the temperature value. And in this way, we are able to see this value. After that, yes, let's put the C from Celsius degree. Okay, so about the humidity, again, we are going to first write serial.print humidity, yes, yeah, this is a tag. After that, serial.print, and we have again the same, dht.humidity. This is the way that the library will show the humidity. In this way, we are able to see this value. And after that, just this write serial.print ln symbol percent. Okay, so here we have a delay from 2000 that this is equal to two seconds. So this means that the Arduino will receive the message each two seconds. Okay, so we are ready to prove this sketch. Okay, so I already connect my Arduino, as you can see. So first, let's go to the tool menu and let's check that we have this, our Arduino connect. So let's choose the com where our Arduino is connected. Also, let's check that we are using the correct board, in this case, the Arduino Uno. Okay, so when we did that, just let's click here on the upload option. Now let's wait. Okay, so with the solder gun, let's try another values so we can see how the temperature increase. Now we have 18, 19, and the point is that uh, the temperature is so as we can see uh, remember that we already carefully this sketch to our Arduino sensor and uh, it's break. already working so just so it's just on the serial monitor values with this solder let's gun. move here and yes we have the two values temperature and humidity and we can see that uh, the value refresh is two seconds so the temperature is 17 Celsius degree. Yes, right now it's cold. It's really cold for me. Okay, so let's try another value. So right now I have a solder gun that I will use to have another value.
So in this way is how our sensor works with Arduino. As I said, all the necessary files will be in the video description. Thank you so much for watching this video. I invite you to subscribe if you didn't do it yet. If this video helped you, please like and share this video. See you until the next video.